Hey everybody, this is Lex, and I am super frickin' frosty right now. And we are going to be playing some Golden Axe. That's right, Golden Axe from like 1989 or 1991. And when you start it up, you get three choices. You get the guy who's kind of in between everybody for melee and magic. The one who's great at melee and poor at magic, and the girl who's awesome at magic and bad at melee. I'm into this guy myself. Fun fact, this was the very first PC game that I ever played that was like a side-scrolling game. I played this on a 286 computer. This was a desktop PC back in the day, and I was like seven years old. And this game was actually pretty fresh back then. I used to be able to beat it. Let's see if I can still beat it now. This'll be kinda lame if I can't actually get through the whole game. If the boss defeats me. I remember this game was all about the final boss and how tough it was. So we'll try to beat it. And that way this is like sort of a walkthrough? of the game, Golden Axe. That's how I'm gonna post it anyway. Ugh. Certainly not a, uh, injury-free walkthrough. Hope everybody is doing okay. What have I been up to lately? Well, my parents have moved into town. Uh, they used to live in a different town, so that's been nice. Uh, I've been helping them get settled into the city. I live in Interior, BC. And I'm also going right now to uh, do a little bit of a road trip to Edmonton. Edmonton is uh, the northernmost city in Canada that's like a really major city. And let me tell you, it's probably not a super interesting place for most people to go. But, I have a... Uh, uh oh, I'm trapped. But I got a bunch of relatives and friends there and stuff, so... Why not? This is the magic power that these guys have. That should kill them, or at least one of them. So what can I tell y'all otherwise? Well, since I'm going to Edmonton, I have to bring a mask with me. Why? Because the mayor of Edmonton is on a power trip, and he has decided it's his responsibility to overrule the health authority of his province and mandate mandatory masks in all indoor public settings. So what did I do? I bought myself a sarcastic mask, one that says, uh, worn by force, not by fear. And I'm taking that on my road trip. So if I have to wear a mask, even though there's not a whole lot of COVID in Edmonton, and I shouldn't really need to worry about COVID seeing as I'm not old or anything, uh, if I have to wear a mask, I'll at least wear a sarcastic one. What can you do? See, some places mandate mandatory masks, which is no good. Because they're basically telling you, well, if you want to go into my store, you got to wear the mask, which is lame. Whereas some people are being smart about it. I saw a bookstore in a small town where the guy's basically giving everybody a 5% discount if they're wearing a mask. Not only does that increase compliance, but uh, might even increase business for that guy. So these are the dragons in this game. Uh-oh, I'm in trouble, guys. Gotta use my magic again. I used to be better at this game. I, uh... Used to take almost no damage, I remember, when I was a kid. Guess, uh, 
half-baked uh, 34 year old me is not quite as good as a uh, seven year old me sober granted i also played this game like a hundred times when i was a kid i loved this game i remember i shouldn't waste any magic on them because something bad is coming yeah this crew and I don't know that I have enough magic power to defeat them, but at least I can I can steal this dragon. I know guys, this is gonna be touch and go. I don't know if I'm gonna pass this game. What else has been going on in the world? Markets have been recovering, so uh, hope you guys uh, caught some good buys. A lot of it has been tech though, it's just a big tech rally and a lot of the other good value stuff is being left behind. I'm kind of choked though because when the markets went down uh, in March during COVID, I almost bought Tesla. I said to myself when it was dropping, I'm like, oh man, if it falls another 50 bucks a share, I'm buying some. Because last time I sold some when it reached like 900. So yeah, it didn't quite get to my buying point and I didn't buy any. So now I'm out on Tesla's most recent gains, but what are you gonna do? But yeah, overall, way too tech heavy on this rally. Tech needs to uh, fall back down to earth. I mean, some of these are great companies, but they're not worth that kind of money. Uh, so some people are like, so Lex, what are you gonna really do up in Edmonton? Well, I went to high school up there, and I'm one of those weirdos who's actually in touch with a lot of their high school friends still. So I'm gonna hang out with a lot of those people. Plus my wife has some family, so she can uh, go visit them. She's got a niece that was born recently, so that's exciting. Oh, I remember this. There's like one bad boss, but you can't pass a certain point or else the other one comes out and he is scary. Uh, there we go. As long as you can stay on the dragon, you're pretty good against this guy. Uh, he does do tackles sometimes. Oh no! Is Lex gonna make it? Well, for now, but that wasn't the final boss. Oh, I remember these guys. See, these guys are a pain in the butt because there's three of them. But you can't waste anything on them because you're actually going to need it for the next guy that comes out. So you just kind of got to move around a lot and, and take your time and beat on them. Slowly and patiently. And see, now you get rid of these two side guys. And this fellow with the giant sword and shield is not that bad. Uh-oh, except we didn't get rid of this one. That should not be. You should be dead. There we go. Did I only have three magic bottles? It's weird that that didn't kill him. Oh man, I'm fooling around too much. More weed. Boom. 
see these guys can't uh, run or dodge or rather they can't run and tackle so as long as you tackle them you eventually win you stay away from their longsword all right I can actually regain some lives here but now we're getting into the tough part of this game we'll see what happens why am I making this gaming stream by the way I don't know just felt like doing it I saw this game and I uh, showed it to my kid who's roughly the same age I was when I played it and I thought to myself man this would be fun to try and play through and may as well record it while I'm doing that because then I get to catch up with you guys a little bit so I know a lot of the people here watch the main channel I can tell you guys as a preview that it looks like I'm definitely gonna breed that grow journal because breeding is way more popular than budding though I may actually try to do both I may uh I may grow seeds on one female while budding another female. We'll see how I feel. Oh. Finish him. There we go. Oh god, this is the start of the skeletons. The big bad skeletons that are fast and have crazy reach. I don't like the skeletons. Ooh. I could just do that and kill at least one of them. There we go. But yeah, life's been quiet, guys, other than uh, stocks and a little bit of a road trip and my parents moving into town. I guess I'm excited for my kid to go back to school. Oh man, does my kid need school. Kids need socializing. All this uh, no school has been really bad for the only children. And my kid's been going knocking fats, man. Well, here we go. Now I tried not to walk too far forward or else you trigger these guys. Just gotta keep getting around them. go and I think there's some skeletons coming soon oh no it's a jumpy skeleton oh no I can't let the skeleton kill me and oh he killed me now I use up a credit that sucks But it's good that I didn't waste the magic, because now I gotta face down three of these frickin' guys. That is just unreasonable. The final boss of this game has two skeletons that are like nearly immortal as his sidekicks. That was too easy. More weed. The fiend's path was a great, great eagle. We are taken across the skies to the ca- ah, who the fuck cares? Ah, not really great storylines in these old side-scrolling adventure games. Now, I remember there's some tricks involved to this part of the game. 
It's all about throwing the bad guys off the edge rather than actually defeating them. Except with this girl. You gotta actually defeat her. There we go. There we go. And one more for good luck. Ooh. Ooh, gotta dodge these guys. I gotta have more patience when I play this game. Patience is definitely a virtue in this particular side scroller. Oh, these two guys. Now, usually the strategy with these two guys is actually to separate them on opposite sides of the screen. Oh, they're on to me. Yeah, you gotta separate them on opposite sides of the screen and let them have it. Looks like uh, they're almost dead. Done. Wow, I think we might just make it through this. This is gonna be, uh, I think, a mini boss here. There's a trick to these gnomes. You kind of wait until they move and then you go after them. guys you can approach them from the bottom but if they come upwards at you it doesn't work so you get them to come up and then you make sure they come down towards you you can also tackle them but the danger is, is that they can tackle too so they may tackle you before you realize it. Okay. There we go. So this is kind of like the final boss, except it's not as terrible because when the final boss hits you, or when this big red guy hits you, there's no big consequence. Whereas with the final boss, every time he hits you, he gets to like also do a magic attack at you. Although I'm kind of getting my butt kicked uh, even by this mini boss guy. Will I have enough juice to finish? really uh, shooty. Ah, looks like the same rule applies to him. If he approaches you from above, then you kind of got him. The axe does a whole lot more damage than any tackling, so... It's much better to do this than to just tackle him all over and over. So now I'm all into this game. Golden Axe grabs you. But yeah, you can download this game for like free now, of course, because it's a DOS game. 
I will link to it down in the video description. I'll definitely link to this. There's like a hundred places you can download it. And you just download it and play. It's just the old uh, DOS opens up and all good. Uh, oh, that was a rough one. I've used up the credit now, guys. There's more credits, but still. I've done it. I've saved somebody who is important. Take my utmost gratitude for our rescue. I thank you and your courage, for it had... Oh my goodness. There are missing words in here, and hideous plot. That doesn't work. Why should I bother to read it if they didn't bother to write it properly? I ask you. Man, this is taking a while. I sure hope I actually beat the final boss. I'm uploading this even if I don't. Because <clears throat> this is a pretty decent run, in my opinion. Like, a lot of it's coming back, though. When you've done something a ton of frickin' times as a kid, it comes back. Like, I remember, like, this whole level that I'm on right now. It's all about throwing guys overboard. And that's it. Like, see the skeleton? It's all about doing that. Making them walk off. Nope. Oh, except that can happen to you. There's a glitch you can trigger here where if I had walked a little bit ahead, I would have triggered these gnomes. And then after killing those last two guys, I could have triggered the gnomes again. But I'm just not that good anymore. Oh wait, I did just trigger them again. Apparently it's just really easy to trigger them. Anyway, they're giving you all those gnomes because you're about to face some nonsense. Nonsense like a bunch of skeletons who don't know when to mind their own business. There we go. Unfortunately, I've gone a little bit too far here. There we go. I am royally messing this up, but... Okay. And then there were these guys. And then there was one. And now he's as good as dead. Pretty easy. Alright, final boss time. Probably the scariest final boss of my childhood. This was an arcade game, I think, at some point. So it was kind of designed so that you'd spend all of your money getting to this point right here and then you would often lose and then you'd have to spend more money um, playing again 
But the idea is, is like with most bosses, take out the ads. Except here, there's also the added difficulty, which is uh, that every time that big guy hits you, you pay a very steep price. See that? He does a magic attack and he basically gets a double shot on you. You really gotta stay away from him. Like if one of the skeletons hits you, that's not the end of the world, but if he hits you, he'll do a lot of damage. Ah, oh, and even if you get hit like that, he still does it. All right, everybody, pray for me. <laughs> Come on, skeletons. Ah. Oh. I don't think I have another credit after this one. If I run out of lives, it's all over. No! <sighs> I didn't do it. Too bad. Well, that was about 99% of Golden Axe. You basically have to kill the skeletons and have enough life left in you to go after the final boss. But I failed. Oh well, thanks for watching anyway. Make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, and we'll see you all next time. Bye bye.